Guten Abend. Oh, uh, diesmal scheint es auch auf dem normalen Weg zu funktionieren. Wieso haben das letztens gesponnen hat? Ich lese Zirkel heute wieder machen, aber ich war zu zerstört vom, von der Firma ja, gestern. Sie müsste leider entschuldigen. Das wird sich dann, denke ich mal, auf morgen verschieben. TV und was war noch? Achso, Tacheles ist ja auch wieder. Ich weiß noch nicht, mit welchem Spiel ich das mache. Ob wieder mit Farves Frontier oder irgendwas anderes. Das werde ich, denke ich, mal morgen irgendwie spontan entscheiden. Aber ja, du wisst doch schon mal Bescheid. Heute wollte ich einfach bloß ein bisschen noch Kommen wir rumkrauchen hier. Cruel bastards. Tying me up right by the food. What do you think of your new home? Let me go now, please. No can do. Okay there, Dutch. Warm, dry, and nobody's shooting at me. A marked improvement. Indeed. <lacht> so, guck mal mal. Was haben wir denn jetzt hier? Alles. Was ist eins, was hier noch nie ist? Ow, ow, ow. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Yeah. It's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? Oh, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. 
Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna love it. Okay then, let's go. All right, out through the trees here, then take a left. going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Good girl. A gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> <laughs>
Or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. I love all of you. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. That don't beat all. Looking for trouble? All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the store. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. <laughs> You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> but I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. <laughs> no. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. <laughs> I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. <sighs> well, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All the best, fellers.
Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house and acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Now, you're coming with me. Get off of me. Get your hands off her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. Or what exactly? You want to find out? Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right Go now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? Can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? Use your <laughs> use your strength to help the weak. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. play him not very well you okay fine you sure yeah nothing nothing to worry about just men but stupid bastard stupid bastard was boasting about the bank the bank sure i know small town banks are usually a waste of time but this is a livestock town there's lots of cash sometimes I hope, uh, okay everything's okay up there. keep investigating i will After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. 
All right, now. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Just following it. You stay away from me! Get back here, right now! Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. All right. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see... I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. <laughs> come on, come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yep.
So stimmt, war noch nicht vorbei. Hello, mister. Hey, brother. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? <sighs> okay, just quickly. <clears throat> that felt... Good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. Oh. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history, done and dusted. The dead got off lucky, the living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. <coughs> One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pig's penises. They're curly, like their tails. <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> this isn't going very well. Apparently not. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. 
I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I'd prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The jaws of gunslinging. It's win-win, freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. <clears throat> okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and... Well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot him. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him? Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Careful, big man. Watch where you're going. So, hello, I guess. I got right, simmered down. Da bin ich. Ups. can have the law here in a trice. Understood?
hear Edinburgh's got the pox again. Hello. Madam? Hello there, pleased to see you. Clear this ride up for you. So that train that got robbed up in the Grizzlies had Mr. Cornwall's car on it, apparently. So long. Thank you. Mhm. Mm okay, da passt so. Warum leuchtet denn das denn? Eigenartig. We got a long way to go, huh? <laughs> I asked my boys here if they would help their pa build a, a new house. Thought I'd teach them a few things, you know? Couldn't hammer a nail to save their lives. Ain't that right, Curtis? Whatever you say, pa. up again right now. I, I'm going to be 100 years old by the time we get this done. No, 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 no. Get away from it. Get away from it before you mess it up even worse than it is. Why does he yell at us like that? He don't like the way we're doing it. He should do it himself. Damn straight. That's just the All the best. You too, friend. Having fun there? This is the exact opposite of fun, mister. Keep at it. You'll get there. I'd seriously rather be... Hey, enough of that. Are you crazy? our stuff, damn it! Right from under my nose, you bastard! Gut. Das sind, zieht dann doch als Clown, scheinbar.
Welcome. In the mood for a show? Ticket for one, please. Okay, head on in. Tent to your left. tell you a morality tale from when our country was young that the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, an old man wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land and gorge yourself on fish and meat and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for 60, go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle, and he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. <laughs> I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a-calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends, the turtle said. If Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. <laughs> Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two-Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. Uh -huh. But he was a good bear, and he always did what old man Wynn told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened frozen and just <laughs> ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. So long. How's it going? You best make your last purchases there. Best hunters don't go in strong, they go in quiet. Clean as kill. People really enjoy that.
Let me know how it was. Closing for the day, Val. Last chance. Hey there. Hello, sir. Welcome back. No, it's uh you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? to take over for you. Sure, why not? You can just leave it to me now. You'll leave this place feeling brand new, you know. Hope the water's hot enough. Sorry for smell. In a while. Oh, I'm not sure what to make of that. Oh, I'm glad of this. It's been a hard few days. Really now? So how's it going? Yes, not too bad. Aren't you so glad you dropped by? You seem more relaxed now. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get much cleaner than this. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. So eine Geräuschkulisse hier, ey.
Was ist da los? <laughs> oh, come on. Ah. No man, Mister. This is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Tracks delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, 
and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive. I got it. Okay, this is a here. No, no. Let's go to the coach. Stimmt. Transport ist jetzt schwierig. Ach, das muss ich doch gleich machen. Scheiße. Und vielleicht hat er ja einen Gaul. Hello, ma'am. Hello, sir. Oh. I guess I just really thought, Mensch, I can fear up. Here. You Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard him. I heard good things. I'll pay in gold if you could help me find him. It's just my mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know, a medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. 
taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. That I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This, this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Oh, shit. This is... Uh... is subnormal. I have medicine in my pocket. Would you pass it to me, please? Yeah, good girl. Just passing through. No business with you. Sir, this isn't necessary. I'm a medical man. A healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Who made you judge? <laughs> I'm only in it for the money. 
Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. Oh, mal den Garderoben für mal. Oh, my Lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was uh, just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the bag. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. But I told but you. nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sir, sure, how much was you offering? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Uh, please, remember what I told you. Partner. Let's try and help each other. It's not about survival of the fittest. Geliebte Hunderasse mit ausgeprägtem Geruchssinn. Wer sie zur herausragenden Jagdhunden macht, die vor allem zum Aufschwimmen von Waschbären zum Einsatz kommt. Oh. Please be generous. Be generous. Help people. Try to do what you can. Hello, hey, sir. Oh, hello. You get a lot of money doing this? Not much, but it's the trying that counts. If you say so. Well, I do. And who do you help? I'll help you learn to keep your mouth closed. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, sir. <coughs> Please give money to the orphans. Remember, <coughs> remember, it's better to give than to receive. <coughs> Let's make this country a brotherhood of man. So give what you can. We're in it together. We can be one. Zellschaft gemeinnützige Organisation von New Hannover. Eine neue philanthropische Organisation, die nach der Verbesserung der Lebensumstände für die Armen strebt. Möchten Sie unsere Bemühungen nicht mit einer kleinen Spende unterstützen? Was ist Armut, das ist in jedem Staat dieses großartigen Landes auf dem Vormarsch. Heute sammeln wir Spenden für die erste Hilfsmission des Landes. Wollen erst helfen, Bettler? 
Aber sie haben mit Nahrung, Kleidung und einem sauberen Bett zu versorgen. Zwei züchtige Geflogenheiten über den Arm verbreiten, verurteilt zu bleib, frei bleiben, durch Händler und Lehrlingsprogramme zu harter Arbeit ermuntern. Drittens eine Reihe von Missionen und Waisenhäusern bauen, in denen mittellose Erwachsene und Mutter und vaterlose Kinder mit offenen Armen empfangen werden, ungeacht ihre Rasse, Hautfarbe, Nationalität, oder sonstiger vorheriger sozialer Umstände, hinten ins Elend und Schmutz verbannen und vagabundieren einschränken, indem wir Lehr- und Erziehungseinrichtungen zur Verfügung stellen. Ein einziger Penny reicht schon, um einen Mitmenschen vom Hunger zu befreien oder aus den Spielhöhlen, Bordellen, Hütten und Hausfluren in ein Heim voller Leben und Hoffnung zu bringen. Bitte schließen Sie sich uns bei der Organisation der Wohltätigkeit an, während wir für die gute Sache der Menschlichkeit arbeiten. Aha. It is in giving that we receive the true gifts of life that are eternal. So give generously, for that is what this country needs to help each other. Hold on. Hello. Please give money to the orphans. Remember, <laughs> remember, it's better to give than to receive. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest tick mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, 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 hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, and we have our answer. <laughs> Das ist ein hier. Don't take that from him! 
Aber da wurde erstmal verkackt. Ey, ey, ey. Hatte ich irgendwie leichter Erinnerung. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well. I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah! Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Tja, ich mit dem Bart. Ich glaube, du müssen wir jetzt, glaube ich, normal machen. Das ist hier so ein bisschen wie Einführung am Anfang. Okay, okay. Ich würde die da noch plündern können, die wir da... Um ihn noch haben. gar nicht mein Hut.
scheinbar verschwunden. Sehr ja blöd. Shoot you. I wouldn't mind some practice. Well, let's get to it then. Normal machen. Vor allem 6 Dollar weg, ey. Oh. Nee, schade. No meal is complete if it don't got meat. Medicine. All right here, folks. Hey, partner. Partner? Hey.
stepping in there. Those bastards been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told them where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. Stay out of trouble. I'll try. All that for the... You'll be all right. Just stick it out. I just want to go back home. You'll be all right. If I could only turn back time and say no to this. Let's go, girl. Easy, girl. You're okay. Yep. There we go. Yeah, good girl. You know, they don't mention... I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens around here without an Odrisco saying so. Understand me? Consider this a warning. Right! Okay then. It's okay, girl. Yeah. Slow up now. Yeah. Yeah. You're all right. Wondered when you'd roll back in. Hey, 
Arthur. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Put your saddle on him and let's go. Right, boy. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Come on, boy. Easy, big feller. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine Stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You find a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Oh, yeah. Good boy. All right, boy. There, boy. Stables are just up ahead. Morning. Welcome. All right. Go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. 
He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Right, partner, you got yourself a deal and a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush and some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fellow well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. Okay, boy. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, <clears throat> what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So, how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, say. <sighs> He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. 
Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Hey, B. But please don't you put that to the test. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. on the other side. Oof. <laughs> I should really be heading back over to Great Plains to see about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him? So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Of course. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. I'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get a set up.
Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. Morning, Arthur. You ready? Well, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas 
bait than shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Hurry up so we can get going. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. What's the hold up here? Come on, grab your stuff. Let's, let's go. Back up, Arthur, and let's get after him. Okay, let's go. Boy. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know... I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? No, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, Maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Whoa! Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went?
This way. The tracks go into those trees. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Damn it. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. A, a little optimism, Arthur. Uh, well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Arthur? Come on, before we lose them all together. Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those bo Boulders up ahead looks like a good spot for it. Ah, the lucky ones, but Louis. Einfach zu müde. Now we wait. Thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right.
Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. Now it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming or not? I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going then. Nimm mal lieber nicht alleine durch die Gegend drin. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it's a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon. Look into something. See you later. Ooh, I still for it. Gute Nacht.